With summer rapidly approaching, skin protection is on plenty of people's minds. And I'm sure you know that the sun is more dangerous at noon than at 6. But did you know that's true for the same reason the sky is blue? See, we typically think of air as being transparent, and to a certain extent, it is. But at the end of the day, light is an electromagnetic wave, and air is made of atoms which have electric charge. So that means that light can bump into atoms, since electromagnetic waves can interact with things with charge. And when it does, it can change direction. Specifically, because it makes the air molecules vibrate, and vibrating air molecules emit light in all directions, some of the forward-directed energy of the light is redirected going in random directions. This process is called scattering, and you can use some underground-level math to prove that when the scattering occurs off of particles that are smaller than the wavelength of light, the amount of light scattered gets bigger as the frequency of light gets higher. If the frequency goes up by a factor of 2, the amount of scattered light goes up by 2 to the 4th power, or 16 times. This particular fact was derived by Lord Rayleigh in 1871, and so the process is named Rayleigh scattering in his honor. So, back to skin safety and the color of the sky. The sky is blue because blue light has a higher frequency than red light, so blue light from the sun is more likely to strike an air molecule while traveling away from you and then bounce directly into your eye. But when you look away from the sun, the only source of light is the light that bounces off of molecules, so you would see more blue light there than red light, hence the sky is blue. For the same reason, blue light is filtered out from direct sunlight because of this scattering at a much higher rate than yellow and red light, which is why the sun appears yellow. And at sunset, it can even appear red because so much of the high frequency light is filtered out because that light passes through even more air. And that applies to UV light as well, which is even higher frequency than blue light. So, when the sun is low in the sky, the sunlight, including the UV light from the sun, is filtered and scattered through much more air than when the sun is high in the sky. And that means that almost all of the UV light is scattered away by the air as it passes through it because there's so much of it. The takeaway? Wear sunscreen all the time, but if you forget to reapply at 7pm, you're probably okay.